All right, guys, go to Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting on the back patio. Uh, I'll tell you what, man, this place is soaked. We had a major thunderstorm come through at about 3 o'clock last night, and I've been up ever since. A lot of stuff on my mind. If you were watching the video from yesterday with the bulk carrier groups, I kind of let loose that uh, I'd lost my brother. Uh, he is gone. And while I was doing that video is when my other brother called and told me. So I just wanted to finish it up and get it out to you guys. We got some pretty cool stuff coming up. We're going to learn how to properly stake a gas key. And we got some other and things that we're going to be talking about. But uh, the purpose of this video is I wanted to tell you about my brother. Okay, he was a very, very amazing person. We all have amazing brothers, don't we? <laughs> he, uh, he was one of my best friends. Somebody I talked to almost on a day-to-day -day basis. And unfortunately, uh, he suffered from a long-term infection and illness that uh, pretty much took him out, off the workplace, out of the workplace, and basically in and out of the hospital for the last two years. And this was it, man. This is uh, the last time. They put him on a uh, respirator uh, and uh, sedated him, and his blood pressure just dropped and his heart stopped. And uh, that was it. It's unique. So, guys, if I could give you one bit of advice, if you got a family member, tell them you love them before you you say goodbye every time because you never know. So let's talk about this because what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you guys to do me a favor at the end of this video. Uh, and that's this. One, I'm going to put a link down below. Because he was out of work for almost three years, they accumulated quite a bit of debt. Uh, they had very minimum income. He was on disability 100%. So with this, there, my, my beautiful uh, sister-in-law is going to probably need some help. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually ask you guys. I hardly ever do this kind of thing. But there is a GoFundMe link. Hey! There's a GoFundMe link in the first line of the description of this video below. Uh, it would just be an honor if you would just take a look at it and share it. But in any case, let's talk about this. My brother, uh, at the age of 17, I think hell, he was 17, maybe he was 16, he enlisted into the Army, uh, went to Fort Benning, went through the Army basic course, or not a school, and then uh, infantry school, and then airborne school, and he was stationed at Fort Bragg for three years. So he did the whole thing, Operation Bright Star, uh, and that was back in 1979. And he got out, I want to say, in 82, just before Grenada. And uh, then he went to college, and while he was in college, he, was, uh, he joined the reserves and became a drill sergeant in the 108th Training Battalion in Charlotte, North Carolina, and became a drill sergeant, which is really cool because... He's one of those guys that uh, he, he's, he's just a very interesting guy. And, 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 and then after college, where he went to Belmont Abbey College, my alma mater as well, uh, he uh, went to OCS and uh, received his commission, I want to say, in 1986. Uh, after his commission, I uh, went to the Officer Infantry, Infantry Basic course, and then, of course, he went into the uh, Ranger School right after that. Uh, after Ranger School, uh, this is back when the 10th Mountain Division was located down at Fort Benning. He was assigned to those guys. And then, uh, I guess, one of the guys, and correct me, guys, there might be some people out here who may know my brother. I, I posted a lot of photos on our Facebook page, and there were some guys who were in his platoon. And it's just a, a really neat thing. So um, he was in the 3rd Ranger Battalion, and I guess one of the uh, uh, first sergeants saw him that he served with in, in the 82nd Airborne Division at, at the end when the 3rd Ranger Battalion became came back into effect. And then he uh, went through RIP and uh, became a platoon leader in the 3rd Ranger Battalion. And then it's pretty interesting because, uh, you know, he hardly ever wore his magic pumpkin down there with his uh, on his uh, BDUs. And then when he walked out in his class A's, man, and all of a sudden here's all those NCOs going, whoa, wait a minute, what is that? It's a pretty cool situation. Uh, he is, uh, he jumped into Panama and Rio Hato, uh, Bravo Company, 3rd Battalion, 75th Rangers. I uh, can't remember what platoon he was in, but he first he went to the Special Weapons Platoon, and then he got his own platoon. Um, after the uh, his stint in 3rd Ranger Battalion, he went to Texas, uh, worked for a company called EDS, where he met his beautiful bride. They've been married for 28 years. And uh, I tell you what, man, he and I have been so close. He's been a huge 
uh, inspiration to me, uh, a mentor, and someone that I know I can rely on in a pinch, which is why I'm doing what I'm doing now. So, guys, look at that thing down below at that little link. Uh, I'm going to make a donation myself, and then I put together a really, really cool uh, montage of some photos. There might be some guys who are watching this that may be in that some of those pictures uh, down there in Fort Benning. But we are. Um, we'll be doing a celebration of life for him. I'll be taking some of his ashes, and we'll be going down to Fort Benning. He wants some of his ashes spread down there. It's very important to him. We're going to be going to Fort Bragg. I'll be spreading his ashes out there, uh, out on Sicily, DZ, hopefully. And then uh, Lake Norman, Belmont Abbey. So we're going to be doing some touring. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, watch this montage. I hope you like it. Let me know what your thoughts are. This is the reason why I always say God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform. And I'm talking about the guys we're in this video. God bless you guys. 24-7 uh, for our freedom because freedom is not free. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Watch the video. Here we go.